Hey guys, so I've got my new uh, ThinkPad T510 here, and it's all well and good, but I've got a lot of the problems a lot of the people do. It seems the build quality at Lenovo is starting to lack a little bit, and it's got kind of a uh, spongy keypad here, and it tends to creak and groan whenever you lean on it, so I figured we'd go ahead and take it apart here. I went to Walmart and bought some, some felt pads and some thick double-sided tape, so let's go ahead and take it apart and see if we can fix it up at all. So, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Let's start pulling the battery out, obviously. And as far as I know, I think you you basically pull every screw out of the back here, except for these two corner ones here and here. So I'm gonna start in the memory bay. Put that aside. I'll have two screws here to remove the keyboard. One just beside the bottom dim and one to the forward side of it. Now before we take the rest out, those two screws are gonna those two screws right there and there. I want to detach the keyboard so if we just slide this forward like so. Should be able to lift it out. And that's underneath. You'll find that if you're just gonna get your finger, this is Kind of tricky, I find, a lot of the time. I'll just grab a little knife here and there we go. So if you just pop the PCB off the motherboard, you can take out the keyboard. We'll throw that aside as well. Close this back down. All right. So now, got it sitting on an old T-shirt here, so I don't scratch the top. In case you didn't notice. We'll start pulling screws. You have two lengths. You have one length that's, you can't see that, but one length that's about, I don't know, five eighths of an inch long, and the other ones are a lot shorter. Just try to recall what went where when you take them out, but you'll know when you put them back in whether or not it's the right length. Moving across the front here, underneath this panel, we have the hard drive, which I think you can see me taking off. Yeah, that's. Just like the memory dim, just take the panel off. Hard drives are super easy to take out. Grab the little ribbon cable and it just comes right out. That's your hard drive and its little absorbing bumper there. We will keep going. There's actually one screw inside the hard drive bay there. Holding down the front part, you can see that's one of the small screws. You can't see it, but trust me, it is. And we're just gonna keep on going here. Taking out screws. There's another short one. Got that one, got that one. Move toward the back. The long one, I'm gonna leave that one in. There's three underneath the battery here. Try to stay organized. You don't want to lose these, you'll probably just end up with more creaks and groans than you started with, so do your best to keep your eye on the screws. Oh, one more right here. Personally, let's start here and just try to knock a couple of these out. One's out. That one's out. So looking at the back, out, 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 out. You want to make sure out, out. That when you're taking this apart, if you do, you know, if it's giving you a hard time, be careful. You don't want to stress it in case you left a screw. And so, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the CD-ROM bay out here. I don't even know if you have to take this out, but I figure the more you take out, the less chance you have of messing something up. I know one important one here is your card slot blank thing, whatever the hell it is. Take that out as well. And now it feels, it feels loose. It feels like we're on the right track, so I'm going to assume that we are. Flip this back over. I know if you read the repair manual, you can open this back up and it'll tell you first to loosen it right here behind the trackpad, which we're doing then you should be able to actually have this off at one point before. Yeah. 
there's just these little latches all along the front here. And you can kind of sneak your thumb in underneath there and detach those as you go across. And over these ones on the far side. I was having kind of a difficult time, so I'll slip a little knife in there. Just to kind of give me a hand. You kind of gotta you gotta go around slowly a little bit while you're doing this. The sides detach rather easily. Almost got it now. Being careful. There we go. I got the last clip in the front, and once you have it out, oh, what we should do is detach the trackpad. Um, it's hard to show you, but if you look inside the connector, you'll just grab the black piece of the connector and flip it up, and that'll loosen the ribbon cable which lets you pull the ribbon cable right out like that and now this thing should come off, you just gotta tilt it up and pull it out and there's your whole palm rest, track pad and all we will put that aside now if you're observant you'll see I've been in here once before a couple people recommended maybe throwing a index card on top of the card reader and stuff like that. I put some pieces of tape along the front. Nothing really seemed to work. I think the the biggest issue is just that the palm rest itself sits off this chassis. So I'm gonna clean this up a bit. Grab my felt pads. Maybe move the camera in a little bit, and we'll see if we can find a place to put some of these felt pads I just bought and try to stiffen this up a little bit.